pretty well. I have one more segment of the show, which is some of your favorite segment, where I give a weekly prophetic word. And I want to just, I want to preface this, that God's doing something so unique in this time. And have you ever gone through a season where it feels like the losses have piled up and sometimes outweighed the accumulation of good in your life? I know that I have. I've, I've gone through that season a couple of times in my life where it feels like I just kept accumulating bad, not accumulating good. And there's a tipping point coming for many of you who are feeling that right now, where you're going to find yourself accumulating again, praise God, accumulating in places of relationship and finances and purpose and health. For many, there's been such a season of loss that it's been continuing in, in, in you know, even in the nations, it's been continuing to where you can't see an end to it. And the pandemic, other health crises, inflation, other financial issues, relationship losses, opportunities that just didn't pay off over and over again. And they've taken a perpetual hit for some of you who are watching or listening right now. Well, some great people have a level of fatigue that's so hard to quantify or put into words that you've almost done everything but give up. Like you've, you've just, your heart's weary. The good news is that God does not give tired or weary Oh, wow. I just feel the presence of God. He does not get tired or weary. He does not get tired or weary. His own nature, he gives you strength. He does not get tired and weary. Some of you need to hear that. God does not get tired and weary. And we see in Isaiah 40 that even Israel went through a time where there was an enduring fatigue and God spoke to them. He said, can we put this on? Yeah, can we? Isaiah 40, sorry. I just feel the presence of God. So I'm a little flustered, which is good. It's good to feel the presence of God. So we need to feel this right now. And I love uh, Maybell, the scripture you're giving me right there. Uh, Psalm 91, because you love me, delight in me, and have been loyal to my name, I will protect you. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. I love that prayer. I love that. Just read that. Psalm 91, 14 through 16. But I want to read this. Isaiah 40, verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Some of you where you felt an accumulation of bad, it's time to feel the accumulation, the increase of God's power in your weakness. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will not walk and not be faint. And many of you have endured so much, but you're doing better than you think. And you haven't failed like you thought you have failed or things haven't failed you as deeply or had as much impact as you thought. Some of you feel like broken to the point where could this ever be returned? Maybe in my marriage or maybe maybe in my divorce or maybe in a business that failed or maybe a real estate thing that didn't work out or maybe in a career or maybe it's relationships or a church you were going to and you're just so tired because there's been so much hardship and God's going to give you a reserve strength and a hope that only comes from him. You could have never got this except for planting your feet on the truth of God's word, but also taking on his nature and you're going to find yourself starting to accumulate. You're going to feel like that bottomless pit now has a, 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 a cap on the bottom and you're going to start to accumulate grace. Grace. That means you're going to feel like, oh, I can do it. You're going to accumulate favor. Oh my gosh, that favor again. People are noticing my projects. People are noticing what I'm building. Finances are coming towards me. You're going to accumulate what feels like endless loss right now is going to start to feel like endless potential, endless potential. I speak that over you, endless potential. I just want to pray for you right now. God, I, I, I give you everyone who's watching, and I pray that we could give you our weariness, that we could give you our weariness, that you would give us strength. We pray that you would give us hope for your wings to soar like eagles. Lord, we pray that there would be something inside of us that would have a new measure of running or walking without getting weary, that you would give strength. Lord, enduring strength where it feels like enduring fatigue, enduring strength over each person right now who's watching. And I just speak over you, you're going to make it. I know we had Danny on last week and he gave that message, you know, you're going to make it. But I'm just telling you, the Lord is speaking over you. You're going to make it. You're going to not only make it, but you're going to make it into what he's promised. Not just survival, but you're going to overcome into what he's promised. And it may not feel like it in this moment, or maybe you're starting to feel like you're already on that other end of like, oh, wow, things are accumulating again. That is your story. It's not two steps forward, three steps back. Your story is, you know, mostly forward, mostly forward movement, mostly forward steps. Yes, there's resistance. Yes, there's some sometimes that we have to, you know, we even get stuck a little bit or whatever. We go through the hard seasons, but that's not your story. The hard seasons are not your story. The story of your life is grace, abundant life. Jesus spoke that John 10, 10 for this side of eternity that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But on this side of eternity, I've come to give you a life and life abundantly. And I speak that over your spirit, that you are called to have life and life abundantly. And I hope you feel that. Raise your hand on Facebook or YouTube or send me a comment 
if you're watching this or listening to this later about how God's giving you an accumulation now of his goodness, accumulation of his victory, accumulation of an overcomer spirit. And if you feel like you've had an accumulation of darkness or hardship, let your story shift in your heart. Grab hold of this with all your hope today. Man, I, I just put the Lord on that. Well, 